Hello there, my name is. In this tutorial, I'm going to teaching you how to pass a DevOps interview. So, if you are applying to become a DevOps engineer with any organization from across from across the world whatsoever, please make sure you stick around and watch this tutorial from beginning to end, because I promise to help make you the stand up candidate. Now, to achieve that. This is what I'm going to cover. I'm going to give you a list of DevOps interview questions that I recommend you prepare for. Those are the questions that have been asked right now within DevOps engineer interviews. I will also give you an example answers to help you pass your DevOps interview interview. I will tell you the quality. That the interviewer is looking for, and therefore the one th that you must demonstrate during your DevOps in interview. The future resources to help you pass the DevOps engineer interview. So four reasons why you should stick around and watch this tutorial from beginning to end. Now, before I get into the DevOps engineer interview questions and answers to new tutorial. A very warm welcome to this presentation. My name is Miss Star Star. I've been helping people for about three years now to pass their interview, and I always do that by giving you top scoring answers you can't find anywhere. On that basis, please make sure you subscribe to the channel by click the red button below the video. Then you won't miss out on any of the training tutorial I'm uploading. You can also connect me to the LinkedIn if you want to. Also, you can always join my WhatsApp group and also my Snapchat. Okay, and it's always great to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. May please make sure and please do make sure you give the videos a like. Okay, that tells me that you enjoy the content and I will and I will therefore spend more time creating it for you. Okay. Okay, let's get into those DevOps engineer interview tips, the question and the answers. Okay, so the first one, the first interview question I would like to you to prepare for is tell me about yourself and why you want to work in this DevOps role. Now, my tip when answering this question is this is going to be the first DevOps interview question that's asked. So make sure you provide a solid, confident answer that details the skill, the quality, and the experience you have. That will be a benefit to that organization. So you want to show in our answer how we can add value to their business. Here is my suggested answer to that first interview question. Okay, over the years, I have again a wide-ranging set of skill. Qualities and attribute that I believe may be a competent, supportive, professional, and flexible DevOps engineer. I take pride in my work. I take I take my professional development seriously. Whenever I end up working, I always focus on how can I. I always focus on how I can add value to the organization by providing security and innovative solution based on the needs of the business. In addition to possessing solid technical knowledge capabilities, I'm also someone who has excellent com communication, collaboration, and decision making skill. And that means if you hire me with this DevOps role, you will not only be get someone who always put the needs of the team and the organization first, but you also get someone who is flexible and adaptable in their work. So as to ensure you consistently achieve your commercial and financial objectives. So I believe this is a very very strong answer, and it will be better than the majority of the candidates because you are showing passion and enthusiasm for the role, and you are also giving them a list of skills, qualities, and attributes that you have that will be a benefit. To the organization.
can either pause the video if you want to and take a note of the answers as I progress. Or if you wait, I will tell you where you can download my, my question. Let's now move on to the second question. What are the most important skills and qualities needed to work in this DevOps role? This interview question is assessing whether you are actually read the job description and you want to understand what you will be required to do on a day-to-day -day basis. Here is the answer of this interview question that will help you prepare fully. Here we go. So to answer this question first, you can say that uh, to be effective when working in, in, in any DevOps role, you need three different types of skills, okay? Technical, soft skills, and business skills. So the technical skills needed include coding, scripting capabilities, infrastructure knowledge, cloud and testing skills, software security skills, and also an understanding of major DevOps tools and resources. So to answer this part, okay, so the technical skills. So when you actually answer this question, you can put uh, the exactly what kind of uh, skill you have on your resume, okay? You don't have to like exactly like this. But you can change like, uh, for example, here it says that uh, 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 DevOps tools, you can put a Jen uh, Jenkins or blah, 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 right? So whatever you have on your resume, you can put it here, okay? For software skills required with DevOps engineer include strong communication, interpersonal, and collaboration capabilities, and also the ability to solve problems. Be entirely flexible and adaptable in your work, and also the design to maintain competence through continuous professional development. So finally, in terms of business skill, it's in Imperative, uh, you have an understanding of uh, how your work fits into the wider strategic goals of the organization you are looking for. Okay. Now, what I like about this answer is, in fact, that you are divided up the skills needed into three important areas. Okay. As I said, you are not just focused on the technical skills needed, but you're also talking about the soft skills and also the business skills which prove that you are commercially aware DevOps engineer, which is really important in the modern age, okay? Uh, for this answer, actually, I don't recommend you use exactly this one, but this kind of for your tips for this, uh, for this role, okay? So in next videos, I probably will share uh, exactly how to answer this question. Uh, actually, I have a video I'm going to make. Uh, it's talking about the important uh, skills and uh, qualities needed uh, to work as a DevOps engineer. So that one will be more like a professional exactly, you know, um, um, in exactly uh, what exactly tools or knowledge do you have in the DevOps. But this, uh, this type... But this example is more like a, a behavior question. But uh, when you uh, actually uh, trying to make your own answer, so you can have this kind of like, as a tips, and you can use a soft skill part and a business skill part. You can make your own uh, kind of like a, a template about your, uh, your. You can make uh, your own answer for this question. So the next one, the next question is why do you why do you want to work for? our organization in this DevOps role. So you are pretty much guaranteed you are going to get asked this interview question. So to answer it properly, we need to make sure that you have carried out some research into the, the organization. And in particular, you found out what makes them stand up from their competitors. Here is my suggestion answer. For me, DevOps is a very exciting field to work in, providing, of course, you choose the right organization to work for. Prior to applying for this DevOps role, I carried up a lot of research into your organization to make sure it was somewhere I wanted to work for long term, and also to make sure I was 100% confident I could contribute positively to your goal and uh, objectives. You are clearly an organization that has ambitious 
exciting, and that was planned for the future. And I feel my knowledge, my skill, and my experience will help you to achieve your goals. Finally, one of the influencing factor that make me really want to work for your organization is the fact that you employ lots of. Intelligent people. I want to work with a team of like-minded professionals who are all passionate、uh, about their work and who are also driving to achieve the same goal. For those reasons, I want to work here and nowhere else.、And、this is a, a very very strong answer. Let's go for next one. Tell me about the hardest day you've had as a DevOps engineer. So to answer this question, make sure you give us specific example where you overcame problems and challenges to complete a task or a project. So here is a suggested answer. Okay. Perhaps the hardest day I have had as a DevOps engineer was whilst working on a project for a client in a previous role. This was a cloud-based project, and、uh, despite having an initial set brief to work towards, the client continuously changed the project specification due to the client's unfortunate haphazard approach to the project requirements. The team started to be show signs of stress and frustration. I spoke to the team members and explained how important it was that、uh, we still provide a high level of service. Also, it was frustrating to have to continuously change our approach to the project. That was our opportunity to dig, dig maintain flexibility, and also use patience and、uh, resilience to get through the project to a sat satisfactory conclusion. Although the project was very difficult to work on, we stuck together as a team. Adapt, adapted as and when required, and successfully. Completed everything the client wanted on time and to the final request specification. Okay, next question: What are your strengths and weakness? Okay, to answer this question, make sure that you have a lot strengths and just one weakness. Okay, and also this weakness should not affect your work. Okay, so. I would say my core strengths are my technical knowledge and experience. Okay, I have built up a lots of experience in various DevOps positions over the years, and I feel I can bring a wealth a wealth of knowledge and experience to your team. Other strengths include my communication and interpersonal skills. This means I can fit into a team quickly, and I will always be unselfish in my work and ensure the needs of the team and the organization always came first. Another strength of mine is my level of commercial awareness. I understand that in order for your business to be successful, I have to excel in the position. In respect of my weakness, the only one I have is the fact that I have trouble sometimes letting go of projects. I tend to get、uh, engrossed in projects, and I became quite passionate about them. Okay, having think that I'm learning to complete the whole. Project quickly and then move on to the next one. And I will always take on board constructive feedback from my peers and managers in a positive way, as I'm、uh, someone who is keen to continuously grow, learn, and develop. So there are a number of really good、uh, strengths there, but the weakness is one that I don't believe will do any harm whatsoever. Okay. Okay. Also, we、uh, also you can ask interview questions. Here is the four interview question I list here. So, what are the most difficult DevOps challenges you have been facing from an organization perspective over the last twelve months? Okay.、Uh, this is the first one question. Or you can ask if I'm successful, what would you need me to concentrate on immediately within the first few weeks of starting? Or you can ask, can you tell me what the culture is like within the organization or within the work environment? I think it's a very good、uh, question. I always ask this question. And the last one I want to suggest is that、uh, 
Do you have any exciting? Do you have any exciting or new plan for the organization over the forthcoming twelve months that I will be involved in if I'm more successful? Okay, this is a very good question also. Okay, thank you for watching. Please do make sure subscribe my channel. Click a like to this video. Okay, here is my Snapchat. You can also add me my Snapchat. My Snapchat ID is below to this video, the description of this video. Oh, okay. So also we have a WhatsApp. Also we have a WhatsApp group. Okay, so you can add the WhatsApp group、uh, through the link I provide in the、um, description of this video below this video. Okay. Thank you for watching. Happy learning and have a good time.